Hello everyone, today we're going to do the mouse game from the very beginning. Uh, first of all, we don't need this cat, so we're going to delete it. Then we will get the mouse from here. The first step is to move this mouse using the keyboard. So the, the, the first thing to do is to go to events and then we will get the key we need to press in order to move it. So we will use the arrow keys, of course. The first one is the up arrow. When I press the up arrow, I want the mouse to do two things. One of them is to point up. So I will click here and choose up. And then I want it to move 10 steps. And also I wanted to change the costume because I want it to look like as if it is walking. Uh, so mm, this one will do the first one. Okay, this is up. I need to repeat this four times, so I will duplicate here. And then I will change just here the, uh, the button and here also the direction because this is down, you will have choose down. This is for example right, so we will choose right and the last one here is uh, left arrow and this here we will choose uh, left okay that's everything for the mouse movement it moves in all directions uh, number two we want to add some food from here also we will click once more and this time we're going to go to things and then choose whatever food you want to put for example i would put this fruit salad i can uh, also change its, uh, its size if I want or not it's up to you when I double click it I, I bring the, the, the coding panel here and you can easily find out which code which object you're coding from uh, the picture here uh, I want the, the food to check always if the mouse is ch touching it or not uh, so we will go here to events and say whenever I click the flag I want you to forever check forever check if something is happening so forever if how to know if something is touching from sensing of course here and then I will go click mouse one how did they bring this name from here it's called mouse one forget about the mouse pointer this is not the what, what we want we want the mouse itself and if you are touched by the mouse I want you to change your place to change the place we have to go to other coordinates I mean to change X and Y so we are going to choose this and then here we want to set ran random values or random numbers and we are going to do this twice one here and one more here and then we will change the x values from 200 to 140 to minus 240 and the other one from 180 to 180 minus 180 Okay, and that's everything for now. Let's check now. I will go whenever the mouse touches the food, it moves from its place to a new location. Okay, uh, number three, we want to set the score at this level. Uh, before we set the enemy, we are going to set the score. It's easier now. So we are going to go to data here and make a new variable and call it, for example, score. When I press OK, this is added to uh, to this location. So I want here to uh, to uh, add one to the score whenever the mouse eats the food. To control this, we will go to the same place here, and we will say change score by. Okay, change score will add value to this score. Of course, I can't. I, is, this is the wrong place because it's outside the if. So I want it to happen if only the touching happened so change score by one this will add one every time to the to the score okay the problem is whenever I stop the game and start the game the score will continue counting for example I stopped the game now then I started again but now the score continued for five six so it doesn't make sense of course whenever I want the game to start from the beginning I want the score to be set to zero there is an easy technique to do that after the flag here and before the forever we're going to put here set not change set score to zero this will reset the score every time you click the flag look at that okay so if i stop the game and click again 
if you can see the score reset it to zero as we told it to do. Uh, number uh, three, we want to the fat that the mouse, for example, to get fat when it eats something. This is also related to the food because the food is the only one that knows that the mouse ate it. So I will go here also in the same place and go to uh, events and tell the food when you are eaten, just say or send a message to the mouse to get fat. And I will go to the mouse once more and tell the mouse that you should wait for get fat. If you heard someone saying get fat or you received get fat from the food, I want you to add something to your size. We can say it's in the looks here, change size by. It's here, not set, change size by 10% or you can do something else, it's up to you by the end. Okay, so whenever it eats, it keeps growing. Okay, we will meet the same problem. So if, if I click the flag again uh, or stop the game and start the game, the mouse will keep its size. So I want every time I start the, 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 the game, I want the mouse uh, to go to its original size. So you can do it from here or from anywhere for example, I can do from the food from, from anywhere you, when you have the flag, but because it's something that belongs to the, uh, the mouse, I will put here. Whenever I click the flag, I want you to change your size from the looks again to the normal size, which in this case uh, is set size to 100%. This way, whenever we click the flag, even the mouse was bigger, it will reset to its normal size. Okay, now, uh, the last thing we want to do is to add uh, an enemy to the mouse. We can either uh, choose something like, for example, a cat, or we can also later do other ideas to make levels. But in this case, I want to put a cat as an enemy. So I will go here and go once more to animals and find this cat. I want this cat to move itself without my help. So I will go here to events and say whenever I click the flag I want you to forever uh, move and forever also if you hit the edge I want you to get back so if an if in, uh, on edge uh, bounce and then if I say that only it will keep moving like that it's easy for the cat to avoid so it's a good idea to go here and to rotate it a little bit so it can cover uh, cover uh, a bigger area. I also need the cat whenever it's touch the mouse to stop the game and say game over or do whatever we want. So I will say here to the to the cat whenever you touch the mouse. I can write this from the very beginning or I can copy it from the food. I choose now to do it from the beginning. I will go here to the cat also and say uh, to the cat whenever I click the flag I want you to uh, forever check if something happening what did that thing if you are as a cat touching the mouse if you touch the mouse what should you do you should for example say anything got you or whatever or game over and I want you also to stop everything all the scripts that will stop the game Let's try now. I'm I'm taken. After two seconds, everything everything stopped. The mouse still moves, but it doesn't eat or the score doesn't uh, change or anything. Okay, I have to start from the beginning if I want to uh, continue playing. Uh, that's everything. Thank you so much for watching.